construction businesses. I introduced myself, I introduced our regulations, and let them know what all the requirements were. So we began accepting applications in July of 2012 with a requirement that all existing businesses in Boulder County must apply for a license by September of 2012 or shut down. Uh, so during that time, much of my activity involved meeting with business owners and other regulators, patients, law enforcement, and members of the public to not only explain regulations, listen to their concerns, but also learn and learn about how we could better adapt and adjust to fit the needs of our constituents, both those in support and in opposition. In response to Amendment 64, we began accepting applications for recreational marijuana licenses in unincorporated Boulder County. Uh, in December of 2000, uh, sorry, 2013. Uh, this were, these licenses were for conversions only, so those were businesses that had current medical marijuana licenses in Boulder County. We allowed for those to convert to recreational or add recreational. So in February of 2014, we issued the first uh, retail marijuana license in unincorporated Boulder County. Uh, and just about a year later, in January of 2015, is when we began accepting applications for new retail marijuana licenses, or facility licenses. Um, we later added many other types of licenses, including transportation licenses, permits for off-site storage, testing facility licenses, um, and many others. Uh, so during these early days, the marijuana regulations were constantly in flux both at the state and the local levels. And the two went hand in hand. So if the business owners couldn't get a state license, couldn't meet the requirements to get a state license, then they couldn't have a, a county or a local jurisdiction license and vice versa. So with the constant changes in the industry, the Boulder County regulations became a living, breathing thing uh, that were constantly evolving. So with hearings, <coughs> so when we had hearings, we would often, to update the regulations, uh, frequently, the business owners would come to present against the amendments, often with legitimate concerns. So as a result, in January of 2015, I began holding marijuana industry meetings, inviting all current Boulder County business owners and applicants, and these were hosted in a round table style. Uh, they were used to create a conversation between regulators and business owners. Uh, the other part that I used these for was to actually present any amendments to our regulations. So I used those meetings to present the amendments to our business owners because <laughs> they often had feedback that would help us adjust those or it would give me the opportunity to actually explain why we're handling something the way we are. Uh, so we felt validated in our efforts uh, at subsequent hearings when business owners actually started coming to those uh, hearings in support of the regulations, even though for the first time we were actually raising fees. They were there in support. So working with business owners was only one facet of the larger challenge of implementing what in reality was both a regulatory and social change across the country. Or, County, not the country. Uh, I worked closely with law enforcement along with countless other groups, public interest groups, both for and against, environmental groups, land use officials, public health officials, state regulators, private citizens, and the list goes on. Uh, these meetings occurred before and after regula uh, regulations were actually in place and hopefully continue after my departure. As with any regulations, it's important to, make, uh, to keep lines of communication open. Of course, mistakes were made, as everybody does, and we did our best to adapt and create that change. With these challenges acknowledged, the fact remains that we were able to successfully implement and maintain a program to regulate the sale and distribution of medical and later recreational marijuana in unincorporated Boulder County. Uh, so I forgot to mention, I did move to, Col or to Tennessee a year ago, so I live in Knoxville at this point. Uh, so it's been my pleasure to be able to share this with you, and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you, man.